Let's look at how being real can add real power and influence to your videos. Have you ever wondered why some videos spread and others sit idle? Why that video caught your attention after you skipped over so many others? Welcome to the Virable Video Show, where each week we dissect videos engineered by brands to go viral. Our aim is to stimulate conversation about how they work or don't, and extract the viable lessons you can use in your own marketing and communications. Welcome to the Virable Video Show. I'm Jonathan Creek, and today I'm going to show you, even have you feel and experience the difference real videos can have over fake ones. And there's probably no better category than pranks for you to experience and then, of course, learn the difference. And of course, prank videos are a wildly successful category of viral videos. Pranks like this one from Banksy, where he hit a shredder in the frame of a piece of his artwork that had just sold for a billion pounds. Then he shredded it. It's genius. Bastien will be bidding and selling for 860,000. Thank you very much. <laughs> Now over the years, some brands have cottoned on to the power of real prank videos and have been rewarded with tens of millions of views for their efforts. LG, the TV manufacturers, are of course a massive front runner when it comes to the prank war played out on the internet. One of the first and best was to do with their ultra reality TVs and of course the landing of a meteor. Adelante. Permiso, don César. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo le va? ¿Cómo está? ¿Me permite su documento? Por favor? Sí, aquí. El currículum. Bien. Ingeniero comercial. Así es. Perfecto. ¿Licencia a conducir la tiene al día? Sí, al día. Ya, perfecto. ¿Usted está más o menos claro cuáles son los propósitos de nuestra empresa? ¿Algún problema? Bueno, principalmente. It worked beautifully online because importantly, now note this down, importantly, we the audience were in on the joke. LG also had us in on the joke when they rigged up a public toilet with TV displays and, well, hidden cameras. Don't do the hidden cameras at home.
The anticipation on this video was excruciating. The real responses from the guys in the toilets, totally shareable. Now you might be thinking that these videos are old. Well, you're right. Normally when there's a niche established, like prank videos, it's the brands and their access to big budgets that take the category to the next level. But recently, there's been a massive vacuum in this type of content, despite there being tens of millions of views on offer. In fact, there's been a shift, a shift away from online exposure, views, to exposure on the news. PR. This week, most of us saw a video of a baseball fan who in some sort of sideshow setup pitched an incredible 96 mile per hour ball. That's about, well, that's more than 150 k's an hour. The result of him pitching so fast was that within a week, he was signed to a pro league contract with Major League Baseball team, the Oakland Athletics. It was your classic Cinderella story. Totally, incredibly unbelievable. And it was. You see, Nathan Patterson, the fan, well, it was revealed after this video went viral that he actually wasn't just plucked from the crowd, wasn't actually just plucked for his skills from obscurity to then becoming a pro. In fact, he'd been in negotiations with the Oakland A's to become a professional pitcher for over 12 months. And that that contract negotiations actually started in February. So this was a real video where the circumstances were faked. How do you feel about that Cinderella story now? Do you notice how you now feel differently about this story? Leave a comment below to let me know how it changed or shifted your stance. Now this of course is a real situation that's been faked and most brands would take it as a win because they know that the Cinderella part of the story will be more widely reported and exposed to more people than the actual correction and the disappointing truth. And in terms of social video and exposure, a setup like this one is always gonna do better than a video that's produced, scripted, and overacted like this one from Samsung. The world's finest artworks, instantly available in stunning detail with QLED technology. I know it's an ad, but they put it on YouTube, which makes it fair game for me. My point is this, compared to the LG videos, this one from Samsung, is simply boring. Our brains know that it's an ad and treat it with the same respect that most ads deserve. But here's the thing. It's a great concept. It's a great idea. Imagine how much more powerful this video from Samsung would have been if they'd actually done it for real. It's a small difference, but sometimes the small difference makes all the difference. So like, subscribe, and most importantly, comment, particularly if you're here to the end. Let me know that you watched it all the way through. I'm Creaky, and thanks for watching. Peace.